I've been making some string. I've got two pieces here. If you look closely, you can see that one piece is thinner than the other. I reckon many of you would like to know how to make Stone Age string, and it's not that difficult. Now for these pieces of string, I used lime bast. Lime bast, as we said earlier, is very long pieces of fibre that come from the back of the bark of a lime tree. And you can see, if it looks wet, that's because I've been soaking it, because soaking it makes it easy to make string. But you can use other materials, including willow bark, uh, anything that's long and thin like that and that can be twisted, maybe even something like raffia. But if you'd like to find out more about how to make string, keep watching. The first thing I need is a small hook. I've made one out of a little twig here. And what I'm going to do is going to hook my string making material over the hook, like that, and hold two equal lengths, just like that, both the same length. And I hold one tight in one hand and start twisting the other with both hands. It's quicker if you use both hands to twist it. And I twist it a little while until it begins to start knotting onto itself and lots of tension builds up inside that side of the string. And then at that point, when I think it's right, I'll just loop it round my finger like that to hold it tight, switch hands and start twisting the other piece as well. But the important thing is that I twist the other piece in the same direction as the first piece. I must twist it in the same direction, the same way. And you'll see that it's getting thinner and tighter and it's beginning to knot onto itself like that. And then when they're both as tight as each other, carefully without letting it go, I just pull the two lengths equal like that, hold them together in one hand and then just flip the string off the hook, let it go at one end. And you can see it spun round like that, but look what's happened to it. If I hold it up close, look what's happened. It's spun round onto itself like that. And it's twisted itself already. And you can help it along by just keep twisting it like that. And then you have a piece Stone Age string. Easy. Now you don't have to stop there because once you've got a piece of string all made up, if it's a long piece you might want to make it extra strong and to do that you can carry on twisting it. You take the piece of string that you've made and you put it over the hook and this time you need to twist it in the opposite direction to the way you twisted it before. So once again, I hold one piece tight like that and I use both fingers and thumbs to twist the other side until it starts to get really tight. And after a while it will begin to start twisting and knotting onto itself. And if you've wet the string beforehand you can see the water being squeezed out of the string as it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. As it begins to go all sort of twisted, stop, loop that one around your finger and hold it tight, and then turn to the other one and remember to twist it in the same direction as the first piece. Same direction, twisting with both fingers and thumbs because that makes it quicker. And then after a little while, once it begins to get tight and it begins to start twisting onto itself, 
and it's no longer straight. Carefully get the two pieces together like that, flip it off the hook and let it twist onto itself like that. And then just keep twisting it to finish it off. And there you have a double strength piece of Stone Age string. And then to tidy up the end if you need to, you can just tie a little knot. So one knot in the end, like that. And that will stop the end from coming loose again. There you have a double sized piece of Stone Age string.